Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 116 of Let's Platinum Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Okay, uh, so we don't need to examine anything else in here, so let's just go. Um, let's see. So now, I believe Kazuichi is somewhere around here. We need to go to the bio lab, I think, next. Yeah, here he is. Let's talk to him. What's going on? Uh, this hallway is kind of creepy. You keep on using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> um, I can't go to places that I should be able to go to. It's like some rule is being enforced for no reason. <laughs> it's like there's an invisible wall or something. Hmm. Okay. Oh, very odd. Go, 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 go. Oh, wait. It's not the bio lab? Oh, my mistake. Sorry. It's classroom 5A and then it's the bio lab. Ah, I just noticed. The reticle, the plus is actually a little off center. I wonder if that's intentional. I wonder if that was like that in the first game. Can't be unseen. <laughs> it can't be unseen. Come on, what are you doing? Stop it. All right, uh, <laughs> let's check out this one. This is another manga. It's laying on top of the desk. Um, this one is Manga for Morons. The Tragedy of Hope Speak Academy. Huh. Wasn't the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy mentioned in that other manga too? It's why Hope's Peak Academy went bankrupt and it was the trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. If I read this manga, will I be able to learn a little more about that incident? Interesting. I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages to see what I could learn about the event known as the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy. The story made heavy use of outdated, stylized drawings depicting characters solving mysteries. What's written here is... As the name suggests, the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy occurred at Hope Speak Academy. The key player in that event was a student named Izuru Kamukura. Izuru was a genius, known as a symbol of hope. Hope Speak Academy used all their resources to develop him. Supposedly, Izuru was a genius among geniuses, and possessed various talents. Wielding superior talent for the hope of mankind, the Academy referred to Izuru as the ultimate hope. To protect such rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all evidence of Izuru's origins and identity. Because of that, most of the students at the Academy were completely unaware of Izuru's existence. But Izuru, who was known as the symbol of hope, was responsible for a horrible incident. 13 students of Hope's Peak Academy's student council, among the Academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Izuru. However, the incident did not end there. The Academy tried to protect Izuru's superior talent and conceal the incident as though it never happened. However, a certain student began working in secret to use that incident to their advantage. That student uncovered what the Academy did and by making that knowledge public, it stoked the fires of reserve corps students who had long been dissatisfied with how they'd been treated, and the uprising began. And that heralded Hope's Peak Academy's destruction. This is the entirety of the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Eventually, that incident would lead to that horrifying, devastating incident. The incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Works cited, Danganronpa Zero. <laughs> I actually don't know what that is, if that's a real Danganronpa thing, but yeah. Uh, with a heavy sigh, I closed the manga. A am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> what? Irony! For a genius known as the ultimate hope to cause such a gruesome incident. A talent like that is too regal for society. It's like trying to buy juice with a bar of gold. <laughs> you should be lucky that you're incompetent. Damn it, he's always he always has to lead up to something offensive. Seriously pisses me off. But ultimate hope. Nagito mentioned that before too. But it looks like it means something completely different here. What Nagito said was the true meaning of hope. But for Izuru, hope simply means talent. More importantly, a genius who possesses various talents. 
I wish they'd given me one of those talents so I didn't have to be in the reserve department. That's right. The reserve department. Here, it's said that the reserve course students in the reserve department began uprising. Then what about me? Was I a participant too? No, that's not possible. There's no way. I have no reason to do something like that. Obtain Truth Bullet. Tragedy of Hope's Peak has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Anyway, I've learned about the Tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy, but the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is a far worse incident, right? What kind of incident was it? And who's this other student that isn't Izuru? A certain student who secretly used the incident to, do, to their advantage? Who is that? This incident is really messed up, but all it's doing is raising more questions. The mysteries just keep piling up. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. And now we move on to the bio lab. Raw. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Sing it again. Alright, here we go. What the hell is with this room? It's freaking cold in here. It's like I'm in a freezer or something. If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. I should hurry and investigate so I can get out of here already. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. We should be fine. There's another manga just lying around here. This time the title is Manga for Morons. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I knew it. The next one would be obviously, would obviously be about this incident. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? Just what was that incident really all about? It might turn out to be something lame. I flipped through the pages of the manga and hoped that I was right. Oh, they're using that background that Nagato had at the beginning of chapter two, I think. Um, let's keep going. Story about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. An incident known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself is that grotesque? Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with this sentence. The tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the reserve course students that triggered the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students and people of various races and nations began joining in, but the movement was not confined to the internet and began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnorm abnormalities soon came to light. By then, it was too late. The ends and the means had vanished, and wanton destruction became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them. And soon, the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear as if the era was regressing to more uncivilized times when senseless deaths were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people would watch them while enjoying a meal. By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of, terrorism's, uh, sorry, acts of terrorism and coup d'etats uh, began occurring around the world. A war waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain. Just war. Pure war. And because of that, there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by a high school student... Sorry. How could a movement started by high school students progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organisation devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope Speak Academy. A group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope's Peak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they used them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society used their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. 
tech-savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. My heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt ice cold. And it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? This is definitely all made up. I mean, if this is really true, then what's happening in the outside world? My family? My friends? The convenience store I frequent? The nearby bookstore? My favourite restaurant? What's happened to them? No way! Hey, hey! Are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? But who would enjoy reading something like this? Wah -wah? Oh my, you don't like manga? Ooh. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. Uh, enough. What is this messed up manga? <laughs> I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but for you not to remember that, such despair. That's the Future Foundation's fault, though, thanks to them stealing your school memories. The incident that happened during that period has been completely removed from your brains. The, this incident really happened, and I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible! What are you saying? How many times do I have to tell you? All the clues here are real! Hello. Please understand, I'm rooting for you. If you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. <laughs> I just want to help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world. I see. So that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know? On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate. But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island, or stay here. He's trying to make us feel despair toward the outside world, so we'll want to stay on this island. But there's no way I'm going to do what he wants. Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just like now. Perhaps... No, that's definitely it. The tragedy has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Whether or not this incident really happened, what in the world is this ultimate despair group? If they're devoted to a certain student who guided Hope's Peak Academy to its destruction, are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy? Plus, that organization isn't just one person, but a group of people. But if they're known as ultimate despair, they're high school students, right? Well. If they were actually able to do it, then I guess that's why they're called, they were called Ultimates. Then, are the killings we're involved in connected to them as well? It, it's no use, I'm going to freeze to death. I'm at my limit, I need to get out of here. Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, that's really annoying. Uh, I'll explain why in just a second. Phew, that was close, I nearly froze to death. So where should I go next? Let me enter this. Oh, I can't believe they actually let me enter that. Please don't knock me, kick me out straight away. I need to be in here. Thank you. All right, there is a hidden Monokuma right here. That's why I need to be in here. I can't believe they kicked me out of the room. <laughs> don't need to do that for anything else, but this one they kicked me out. Okay, cool. That's it. Uh, let me see. All right, now we're heading to classroom 5B. Okay, we're on level 97, we have two more to go. I can, you know what I should be doing? Checking my pet. Oh god, he almost died. <laughs> He's on seven, but that's fine, that's exactly... He hasn't actually gained any more, but that's good. All right, remember to check that. Basically now, once I finish Shatimi, I think I reach the level cap, so that's good. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. No, I should ignore it. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see him. 
Uh, let me have a look. You know what? I am going to talk to Monokuma because it says I can talk to both of them, so... Hiya. Why, hello, Hajime! I hope you're doing pleasingly well! Are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing here? No, no! Well, there was another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. Tee <laughs> I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. Hmm. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm getting really fed up with your babbling. Hurry up, what did you need to tell me? <laughs> it's about that key piece of information you've been waiting so long for. What? Surprise! It's about ultimate despair. Huh? Hmm. <clears throat> Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days, Actually. it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful evil, and feared person alive. Uh, high school girl? Yes, indeed! Lady Junko Enoshima! Junko Enoshima? Hey, um... As for the former Ultimate Despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor, and created the Ultimate Despairs. <laughs> There was one really horrible person in that group. Don't fuck with me! Uh, hold on a sec. I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. There's no way people would join some effed up organization created by a high school girl. Unbelievable. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. Hey, um... That holds true for Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Phew. Her connections were the main reason that incident became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat. Huh? Then what was their purpose? Huh? What? Like, like I said, why do they cause that incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way they'd do what they did without any purpose. Hey, um... It was Junko Inoshima's despair. Huh? For Junko Inoshima... A di uh, for Junko Inoshima, despair isn't about purpose. A set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what defines Junko Inoshima as Junko Inoshima. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm a stuffed plushie. Hajime is a human. It's exactly like that. <laughs> Junko Enoshima is full of so much despair that she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving. For her, everything is despair. Wh what the hell? With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs, one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. That idea had been slammed right into their minds. <laughs> and so, the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair. Whether it, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko Enoshima. Like believers making offerings to their god, like a mother providing food to her children, they dedicated all despair so they could escape from despair, all in Junko Enoshima's name. For example, they killed their families and friends and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something that they had to do. Th there's no way something that crazy is possible. Well, what? Do you know about the final days of the reserve course students during the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy? F final days? In other words... Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. 
Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to the reserve department? Of course! They fulfilled their role at disposable limbs. They believe in what they believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> and so, the 2,357 students of the reserve department all committed mass suicide. Mass suicide? What'd you say? Uh, all 2,357 students? <laughs> Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. One person was excluded. Uh huh. Is that me? Damn it! I, I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate despair, Junko and Oshima. <laughs> it doesn't scare me at all. I mean, Bastard. Junko and Oshima is already dead. Huh? Whoa. Ultimate Despair has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. Reserve Department has been updated in your handbook. Check the Truth Bullets menu to review it. Alright. Holy crap. What information that we are getting and what does it mean and holy... Ah, it's crazy. <laughs> We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We are almost there. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 116 of Let's Platinum uh, Dungaropa 2 Goodbye Despair. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.